Hi students, today I'm going to show you how to log into Edsby. So the first thing that you need to do is get onto the internet and you need to type in the board web page, which is publicboard.ca and then hit enter. This will bring you to our board website and the home page right here. And you'll see this top bar has um, places for different um, people. So you're going to want to go to the student section and it'll create a drop down menu and you'll click on Edsby. This will bring you to the Edsby sign in page and that's where you're going to put in your username and your password. These are the same username and password you use to log into computers at school. Your student number and then your password. Usually it starts with 36101 and so on plus three more digits and then you put in your password and you'll click login. I'm going to take a second to log in now. This is what your page will look similar to when you um, get into Edsby. You'll see your name up over here and you'll definitely have your classes over here. It might look a little different in the middle because you might have recent activity right here which will show some of the posts that people have put in your classrooms, your teachers, and your classmates. Um, you can't really do much with that middle section and then your groups might be down over here. But today I want to focus on going into the classes and reading a message from your teacher and posting a message from your teacher. Your classes might look different than mine. You could have science, you might have music, but you will for sure have homeroom, math, and English. So what you need to do is choose the classroom you're interested in and click on it. Today I'm going to choose homeroom. Now in Homeroom, here's where you're going to see posts. And here's the post that I've just posted. And what I want to know is what students have been doing since we've been away from school. And you can hover over the post. And when your teacher has posted an assignment, it's probably best to reply. So that way your answer kind of goes uh, underneath of it and stays connected to it. So if you go over like this, you'll see the word reply shows up in these little blue words and it'll open up a new box where you can type in your response. So I'm going to type in mine. I have been painting since we have been away from school. I watched um, YouTube and learned how to paint flowers. Now you can just hit share and you have shared your idea. But if you wanted to, you could add a picture. There's a couple ways you could do that. One way is by clicking this camera. And if you have um, a camera in your computer, it'll take a picture. Hi students, like this. And you would just push that button. Another way is if you've saved a, a picture on your computer, you can click here and you can find it. It'll open it up and I have mine saved right here, my picture of my flowers, and it'll attach it. Now you'll notice this little blue line that's slowly going across. You have to wait for this to load before you can share your, your um, comment or your, your post. And you have to wait for this to turn green. Sometimes if a lot of people are using the internet, it takes a little while. Now that the line is all bright green, I'm able to click the share button and now my post is shared. If you wanted to create a new post or ask a question, you could also write right in here. Um, for example, hi, I forgot my login for Prodigy and you could share it and then your teacher would see that you had that question. So that's a couple ways that you can use it and before we leave I also wanted to show you that when you're done on a page you have a couple of choices to leave this section. Here you can go and look in a different classroom or you can click Edsby and return to the home page. Thanks and I'm looking forward to seeing your posts.